Hello everyone, it's Mr. Andre, and I'm here in the library at House by Town English. Our story for today is Fletcher and the Springtime Blossoms, written by Julia Rawlinson and illustrated by Tiffany Beek. Fletcher loves everything about spring, and so do I. Let's read this beautiful springtime story together. Fletcher and the Springtime Blossoms, written by Julia Rawlinson and illustrated by Tiffany Beek, read by Mr. Andre. The woods were full of the chirping, bustling, sing-song sounds of spring. Fletcher bounced along with his nose in the air, sniffing the just burst buds of flowers and playing chase with butterflies with his head spinning with sights and sounds. He tumbled happily down the hill into the sunny orchard. But when he picked himself up from the ground, he couldn't believe his eyes. A soft breeze danced through the branches, carrying snowy flakes. Snow so late in spring, thought Fletcher. It will be too cold for the buds and butterflies. There's no time to lose. Looking for someone to tell, he trotted back up the hill and passed a pair of birds cuckooing on a branch. You've flown to your summer home too soon, Fletcher cried. I've been down to the orchard and there's more snow on the way. Then we should fly back south they called. But first, we must tell Porcupine. He's just come out of his bed of leaves. He needs to snuggle back down or he'll freeze. Fletcher and the birds found Porcupine stretching and scritch scratching. There's snow on the way, panted Fletcher. I saw it in the orchard. It will be too cold for the butterflies. The birds will need to fly south and you must hide away. Then I should crawl back into bed, snuffled Porcupine sadly. But first, we must tell Squirrel that he needs to hunt for food. He's eaten his winter store of nuts. He'll need to find some more. Fletcher, the birds, and Porcupine found Squirrel scampering after sunbeams. Snow is blowing in from the orchard, gasped Fletcher. It will be too cold for the butterflies. The birds will need to fly south. Poor Porcupine must go back to bed and you must find some food. You're right, I've eaten my spring feast, said Squirrel, and all my stores are gone. But before I hunt for more, we need to tell the rabbits to munch as much grass as they can before the snow falls. Fletcher, the birds, porcupine, and squirrel hurried off again. The rabbits were rolling down the hill next to their burrow. Stop playing, cried Fletcher. There's snow blowing in from the orchard. It will be too cold for the butterflies. The birds will need to fly south. Poor Porcupine must go back to bed, Squirrel needs to find food, and you must munch more grass. Before we eat, said the rabbits, staggering dizzily to their feet. Let's go and play in the snow! So the rabbits hoppity roly poly plopped down the hill through the woods. They were chased by Squirrel, Porcupine, the birds, and a bouncy, full of importance fox, all the way to the orchard, where the ground was white with blossoms. Blossoms bobbing in the branches, blossoms blowing in the breeze, blossoms blanketing the ground, and not a snowflake to be found. Those are blossoms, not snow, you foolish fox. The animals cried. Fletcher blinked and rubbed his eyes, feeling very silly. But then, 
The animals scooped up pawfuls and clawfuls of blossoms from the ground and covered him in a tickly shower of fluttering white petals. Fletcher and his friends ran and played between the trees until at last they all collapsed in a blossomy soft white heap. Then the birds fluttered back to their branch with beakfuls of blossoms to line their nest. Porcupine snuffled off up the slope, his quills dotted with tiny white petals. Squirrel went chasing up and down trees after snow white petals dancing in the breeze. And the rabbits bounced back up the hill with blossoms to brighten their burrow. But Fletcher just lay smiling in his soft bed of petals, watching the blossoming branches bobbing overhead. The end. This has been a reading for House by Town English, read by Mr. Andre.